Fiesta. Yeah. Softworks presents an old classic. Morrowind. So this is Morrowind on the Xbox yep. One. Which came out when? 2003, I think. 2003. And when did it originally come out, the PC? 2002. So, so this one has all the DLC and stuff. Yeah, this one has the expansions. Sweet. Dot. New game. Are you going to... Uh, yeah, new game. Yeah. So this is all new to me. These uh, Xbox loading screens. One thing you really enjoy about the Xbox version is the loading. <laughs> Although it only does this epically long load when you first load up the game and then all the other loads yeah. are quite cool. But handy tips. Which I probably could have used when I was when I first played it about ten years ago, however long it was. <laughs> A is activate, Y is magic, X is weapon and B is menu. Also, uh, <laughs> Such a long load screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gone. We won't be playing this for a while. Uh, left bumper is the white button, and right bumper is the black button. Okay. For the Xbox. Do you know what they do on this game? Um, I remember white disposes of a corpse. <laughs> you think that'd be black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like good and evil. Um, white is also to rest, I think. Okay. Oh. Ooh, it's starting. Yes, ignorant. Mm. I'm an ignorant person going <laughs> to Morrowind. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. Ooh. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You mm -hmm. have been chosen. Cliff Racer. It's <laughs> like a vision of things to come. <laughs> again and again and again. We're here. You're going to be seeing lots of them. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake okay, up. Okay. Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. Ooh. What's your name? Uh. Zero. <laughs> okay. For the sake of freaking this guy out. <laughs> Two thousand. <laughs> well, not even last night's storm could wake you. Completely unfazed by I the fact that we got the same name. I'm sure they'll let us go. See if you can model his face. <laughs> so you can model Why? your own face, sorry. Here comes the guard. <laughs> this way, guard. This is where you get off. Come uh, with me. Good old glitchy Bethesda. You better do what they say. Stuff. Hey, this is where the glitches started. Well, <laughs> at least the first, this is the first Bethesda game I ever played. Yeah. I'm not sure how glitchy uh, the other Elder Scrolls games were. <laughs> Look at him walking. I don't know, because in Oblivion, Oblivion's yeah, where all the crazy physics glitches started. As yeah, yeah, this game just has I love pathing how, issues. I love how clear the text is. Yes. Compared to the PC version. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Nice haircut, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What the hell's wrong with your head? You finally arrived. But our records don't show from where. We don't know from. <laughs> Arc Elf. So hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're from... They so can tell where you're from by um, what race you are. So surely you can take a world guess. Yeah. <laughs> you had a big scar. There we go. That'll do. Uh, what was his hair like? He was bald, wasn't he? I remember. He had an earring. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to assume his identity. <laughs> Earring on his other ear, I think. Was it? Yeah. Oh, is that it? There we go. That's the one. <laughs> 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 I 
Go on. <laughs> I am that guy. Awesomeness. <laughs> Great. I'm sure you'll fit right. The other guy is an imposter. Arrest him. And they'll finish <laughs> I don't. I don't know. He doesn't seem to have been released. Uh, uh, yeah. He's not coming. Senses and exercise. Ah, oh, this guy's got a very oh, condescending yes. tone. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting <laughs> you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. I'm the not a number. I am a yours. free man. Well, the forms yourself. Um, um, um. What do you think? Delf. Delf. Because honestly, if you're good at stealing stuff, you can make so much money and then train to be whatever the hell you want to be. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. my, uh. This, this is just. The guide to your beginning character. You can evolve oh, into right. anything. Because basically, um. I don't know, really. I mean, I usually use long blade. Yeah. As a main, my main weapon. Hmm. Um. Axe. <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> um. Right, you want to either want destruction or restoration? I think you might want to go with from destruction. And. Oh, what oh, I want security. Last yeah, security at the top. What's, and then, okay, you want. An important one for me. Is mysticism is um, one of the most right one of the earliest spells you want to get is mark and recall okay. because basically you cast a mark spell like where you want to return to each time and then wh wherever you are in the world cast a recall spell and you go straight back to that spot yeah so right. and considering how much of a bitch it is to get around this world <laughs> it's, it's such a time saver yeah. Um, I never really Anything used else? speech craft much. Um, let's have a look. I like taunting people. Have you got restoration? Is one of them because no. I think that's quite important. Maybe illusion or alteration. Although saying that, you, might, you do. Is good for... you, yeah, I. You do want to keep some. You don't want every single skill that you really want to be in that in your main list because you want to level up stuff that isn't in your main list because yeah. that way you can make it's like min maxing your stats basically mm. it's a really weird system that looks pretty good to me yeah yeah because if you're not going to use block then you just yeah. just get a big old two-handed axe very good to smash people's yeah. heads in you mentioned you were born under a certain sign and the shadow that's it's fallen off um I always use the shadow. shadow. What's the mage? Just have a look. Fortify maximum magic. Uh, that's not very good. Uh, if there's one that protects you against all magic, quite a lot, that might be worth it, but not really. A... Um, I always choose the shadow generally. Just it's a really good way of stealing something really awesome really early. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know if these are all constant effects. No, nah, there's none that make nah, you. No, I think uh, the shadow is the best one. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information. Like the amount of anti-aliasing this game's using on the Xbox 360. Does the 360 do that? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's not bad at all. Speed's really important. I think to start off with. It's yeah, just so definitely. slow, otherwise. Uh. Yeah, we're good. Looks good. Show your okay. papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. I, I've been uh, playing this recently with the Morrowind overhaul graphic overhaul mod, so everything looks really weird to me. Because <laughs> that <laughs> looks very different. Yeah, I've, I think the textures are a bit more low res than the PC mm. version by standard, but that's the only real difference. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do what I normally do. Yeah, this loot. is what I do as well, just <laughs> steal everything. Uh, analog stick fun. Hey, so cool. Yeah, you're gone. Oh, yeah, the uh, menus are. 
suppose you can only do one menu at a time. Yeah. That's the way it works, you just switch in between them. You can sleep down there if you wanted. Yep. I have no reason to do this. <laughs> you got a knife? Oh, dagger. Uh, that was just a letter from some Nord saying, Thanks for sharpening my dagger, you douche. <laughs> oh, silver. Uh, I'm just skipping Well, you get to use maybe. your uh, lockpick in a second, I think. I think there's a locked chest. Right. Whatever it's called. Oh, that thing yep. in the bottom. Hey, look at me, I'm an elf. Ah. So, can you switch between... Um... Way! Gold. Easy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> taking this, taking this, taking this. Because the reason you do this is so you can flog it to... Uh, a shop and make make a bit of money. I don't think you make that much money, but you make enough to start off with, which yeah. is nice. Those born under the sign of the Lord, the Lord. Did Those things are really easy to kill. Yeah. At least for me, they were. Crab people. Crab <laughs> people. <laughs> God damn crabs! <laughs> oh. oh, the ring, yeah. <laughs> I think I actually ran back and gave it to him like hours and hours later because mm -hmm. it's really rubbish. Hello. <laughs> nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> I am Silas Gravius. Morrowind? Hmm. Okay. Uh, duties. Duties. Okay. Oh. So I've that got... douchebag. <laughs> really weird douchebag as well. <laughs> when we see him. Yeah. <laughs> You are now on your own. Yeah, good luck. Oh, white's your journal, apparently. Oh, sweetness. They didn't implement the quest sorting thing into the Xbox oh. version of this, though. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, doesn't matter too much. Hello, Fargoth. What's wrong with his face? Yeah. What's a triangular face? Upside down. Uh, no, sorry, no ring. Um, I don't know if any benefit to give him the ring or not. To be honest, um, unless you just want to sell it. It increases. Well, you get the ring back anyway. Do you? Oh, do you know that? Um, it increases his disposition, and he says he's going to turn it, turn it, yeah, tell his friend Ariel who runs the trade house. And his oh. disposition goes up towards you. So you get a bit, so you a bit get cheaper. a better deal bartering with him. And he doesn't give you weird looks. You yeah. <laughs> okay, you see those those, um, those fungus there? Yeah. You pick some up. Okay. Fungus bone. Okay, and the other one. Right, you need another one of each of those. I'm just setting you up for a quest later. <laughs> okay. That you can do really quickly. Um, I'm going to be sort of doing bits and pieces I do as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, be <laughs> just cool. See, and see we'll, how we... uh, between us, we'll own this game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, dude, I did not know that was there. There's an even better one, and there's a reason I chose Axe as my main weapon. Um, see if I can get out of this. Yeah, what's jump? Are you, uh, kneeling? Yes. No way. I had no idea about this. Er, no. <laughs> Don't make me fall. You got a heart. Oh, sweet. Go. <clears throat> have a look at this bad boy. So, um, it is a an enchanted axe. 
Iron Shard Axe. Wicked. That is brilliant. See how old's this game? And yeah. I still don't <laughs> know half the stuff in this game. Well, judging by your save on the PC version, there's a whole load of stuff I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So between us, we're discovering new things about this game, even though we've played it an yeah. awful lot in the past. Uh, one thing that annoys me is just how slow you go, even when you're running. Yeah. Because you see the, the green bar going down the corner there. That's the stamina. That um, that goes down while you're running. Yes. I mean, you know that. I'm just it's telling everyone like... else. It's not like Oblivion, where it's, it's just when you your swing the axe. Not affected yeah. unless you're fighting, or Skyrim, where your stamina is not affected unless yeah. you're doing a power attack. Uh, that book's a. Uh, I think it levels up something rather. Yep, unarmed. And sell that shit later. Yep. Uh, I just. Yeah, might as well. Is there anything up here? I can't remember. Uh, oh, the lanterns. Like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're handy. Right, that's all the stuff I'm nicking to sell. <laughs> <laughs> nice chest. It does get so fun later on where you just fight. Oh, when you see a big manor house somewhere <laughs> and you just go in and just steal all their stuff. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah, I'm used to being penalised on Oblivion and it's really hard games to for thieving, so I kind of got turned off the idea while I was playing Morrowind at times. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can just sell your goods to every trader, even if you've nicked everything. Mm. There's not this big thing in your inventory going, you stole this! <laughs> uh, do they care about those? I don't know. I don't think anybody saw me take it. Alright. Oh, so. <laughs> I... I I waited for the guard to walk away first, because mm. I'm pretty sure they will mention it. Right. His disposition's oh, 80 now, because cool. of wicked. far goth. So you get a bit cheaper, don't you? Yeah. Um, right, you don't so... really need any armour or anything yet, so I'll just flog everything you want to sell. Unless you wanted to... Do you go? Do you go to that dungeon? Not dungeon. That cave Adam with the bandits at right yeah. the start. Oh, then you yeah you might want to get some armor. Rita blooms. Um. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't have to go there. We will do that in a bit after you join some guilds and stuff. No, keep. <laughs> oh, that's just directions. Oh. We keep know where it is. For him. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry. Uh, three pieces of paper. Keep those, keep. Candles, torches, there. lanterns. Yeah. Baskets. Oh bottles. yeah, this isn't, <laughs> this is the original version. You don't need, like, really lanterns at night, do you? <laughs> nah. There you go, these silver are worth Life a bit. Plates, loads of silverware. So when you sell something, do you commit to it? Uh, no. Got total sold down there. If you press B to say you're done, it comes oh. up with a sell for this much dialogue. <coughs> Nothing is dumbed down in this version, <laughs> which is amazing. Right, uh, so I can now go to his screen ah, there and we go. choose what I want to buy or sell. I do kind of wish this was Buy on the PC rather. version, just it would be nice, nice and big and... Yeah, the user interface was a bit bigger. Yeah, I just a bit bigger. I got some arrows because I've got my marks. Have you got a, a um, bow? Uh, there's only that bow currently. Oh. But yeah, I'll get all that stuff. They're not too expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm think... still making a profit at this point. I don't need army yet. No, no, you're right. Um, well, if you, if you don't want, to, if you're not going to kill those bandits yet, you probably don't need any. Okay. So, okay, let's say. Give me one piece of gold more. Yay! Get, oh, go to spells for a sec. Oh, On his uh, barter. No, no, when you talk to him. Oh. Right. Goodbye. Oh, bell. bells. Bells. Right. <laughs> probably isn't worth. I don't know. Maybe. 
Hmm. Hearth heal is fantastic. I still use that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you don't, if you want to spend that much, I don't know if you can even use it yet. To be honest. Oh, resist magic. <coughs> um. So, so go out of this and see what spells you got at the moment, because I can't. I don't actually know. I don't think I've got much at all at the moment. Um. You got oh, you got fire bite. There you go. You got something. It's all right. And then you got eighty-eight percent chance of it doing. Hey. Yeah, they're the exact same ones I've got as powers in my save game yeah. on the PC. And I'm not even. I'm a Brenton. All oh, right. That's kind of weird. So are we good to leave this guy for now? Yeah. Yeah. Who that guy? Oh, I forgot to do something. Oh, do you talk? Do you want to? I don't get a talk quest to somebody upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, I I used the healing ring for ages. Oh right, yeah, to do that. Because that seems to have worked for me. Yeah. Fair enough. Flatfoot. Yes. Nine holes. I don't want to know what that is. Vargoth's hiding place. <laughs> just say he'd do it but I'll don't go back to the him case. That, I, I never go back to him I just take the money and go <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, I usually finish it off just to finish the quest it took me ages to realise you could go upstairs and see more people <laughs> yeah. I didn't realise um, I think we'd um, Alright, one other thing I usually do because it gets you a nice chunk of gold. Oh, right, okay. There's a qu another quest. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say go left first because you find there's a guy, <laughs> there's that crazy wizard. Oh, yeah, um, go and loot his. He's got some cool stuff. Yeah. And then um, I know. There's a body somewhere that's quest related. Yes. To something. Right, you see those uh, mushrooms on the left? Get a couple of them. Those blue ones. The, okay. Luminous something. Oh no, the violets. Violet. Oh, there you go. You need to. Uh, and those ones on the left. Hmm? Get, get them. Yes. Mushrooms. So, I think you need one more. Are they on the right? Oh, there they are. Left, those ones. There you go. So, you, so you got four kinds of mushrooms, basically, yep. and fungi for uh, some quest. Way. <laughs> Danny on his book. <laughs> okay. Steal that shit. Dispose of corpse. This is one of my favourite um, features <laughs> over the new ones. Nah, I like to leave corpses about. <laughs> as a I warning. I like getting rid of them just because in Oblivion and other games they tend to stay forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know okay, if you go look corpses. right. So you want basically want to go off track to the right. I mean, okay, follow this round a bit. But I think the corpse where I found him. Right, because of the stupid gravical overhaul mod, they put grass everywhere. <laughs> it was a pain in the ass to find him. It was. But I had to look it up, and he's at um, somewhere. He's very visible on this version. Yeah, he's between some rocks, basically. He's over here. Yeah, they, those rocks, I think, right in front of you. He's very visible, and when there, I... he's he's up in there. Yeah, there we go. When I say that, I'm like, where's he gone? Oh no, oh. it looks like I'm going to get involved in combat. Bring it! Uh. Right, this is early game Morrowind in a nutshell. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> it's all. Your combat's all done by numbers. So, if you're only a, a novice, he's still alive. Oh, is he dead? No, he's dead. Oh, wow. 
Those things don't kill you, by the way. Those. Yeah, those are peaceful creatures. What are they? I can't remember what they're called. <clears throat> there he is. Kwama Forages. Okay, so in the graphical overhaul mod, I can only just about see part of his foot because yeah. it's completely covered by grass. And there we go. We took all this stuff. Um, Back to see. I don't know if it's worth re returning that money or not. I can't remember what you get for it. It is well worth returning the money. Okay. I only did it a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember. Yeah. Maybe you uh, returned the money and realized, um, and then reloaded because you didn't get anything straight away. Possibly. I have to check my quest when I get back. Because uh, I I have a tendency whenever I play this game on my own to walk slowly a lot of the time, just so my stamina's there in case yeah, I do yeah. get involved in combat. I have to say, it's pretty impressive to see this on an Xbox One. Yeah. I think they did. And the interface, like, could have been an absolute nightmare, but I think they did a pretty good job. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's literally the same game. They haven't dumbed anything down in true console style. <laughs> nah. They just try to make it work on a pad, basically. But you can kind of see they they used their experience with this with Oblivion. Yes. To some extent. Um Ah yes. Now we go back through here. Oh yeah, stupid room. Yeah, three loading screens oh. just to get to the guy. That's not too bad. Yeah, like I say, it loads like the PC version after the initial load. Just the very first load that's really slow. It is a very impressive port, mm. PC version. Why, yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. I found 200 septims on his body. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I've done this. Yeah, I remember now. Yes. You've got to find the douchebag who did it. Um, and we already know who it is. <laughs> are you going to go straight to him or are you going to talk nah, to I'm his girlfriend? Talk to the, I'll talk to the girl and the thing. I think you have to ask about her first, don't you? To some, like, just talk to any random person in the street. Yeah. The general rule of thumb is if you need to find someone in a certain area, go to that area... And ask and to talk mm. to anyone, chances are they'll know. Ask him because he's got a high disposition towards me. <clears throat> to what do I owe the yes. <laughs> so. See, he seems like quite a nice guy, but everyone hates him. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it because he just because oh, he asked for his ring back? I, I'm not uh, sure why people hate him. But. <laughs> I, th I think he he has the outward appearance of being quite nice, but he's a bit sneaky. Ah. Uh, so. Well, I mean, he's a bit sneaky with that hidden stash, but I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, I think but. he I think he's just sneaky and trying to protect his own interests rather than actually mm. screwing anyone over. Yeah. Well, it sounded like that guy looking for him or looking for his money. It sounded like an ass. Yeah. So, I don't blame him. Seen him get angry, eh? Seen him get angry? Ah, Vorin Gilneth. I knew it was him. That guy. <laughs> Vorin Gilneth. He's definitely got to be a scouser. <laughs> <laughs> He has to be. Scouse Dark Elf. Scouse Dunmer. 